finally managed to get out um, a little bit of a break away from working on the van. Came up to Dublin for three or four days, so first stop on the biking trip is Tick Knock. We're at the top of this pump track, which then goes into Skyline. Uh, also, we're not really uh, too sure about the whole grading scheme in Ireland yet because it's, it's Trail Fox. On Trail Fox, this is a blue. It's got a red cover here. It is definitely not a red grade. Um, this is a short trail and then into Skyline, which is going to take us back down to where we started. Here we've come up, I think it's like 1.6 kilometers of a, of a tarmac road. Uh, nice enough climb, but we'll see how many times we actually do that. Today. Maybe three times, I don't know if we do many more than that. Yeah. Kind of have a view of Dublin. I guess that might be Bray out that way, and Dublin over there. Like, typical Irish weather. This is a good day in Ireland. Let's go. Pump track is a great warm up track. It's short, super fun, and easy to build speed. There's a small rock garden towards the end, and the exit is a little tight, but it spits you out at the main car park, so you could easily lap this trail if you wanted. offers 1.6 kilometers of a flowy descent back to the car park, with nice rollers, berms, and a few rocky sections. There are no real features you need to be wary of. It's a blue on trail for us, and we agree with the grading. She's still going. I was getting tired. Your feet is suits ya. Your V just suits you. Ah. That was really fun. Yeah, we're a little bit rusty as we are with all the things. Kind of move countries and van building. But at least the bikes are getting a bit of use now. Yeah, I'm still getting used to my Vitas Mythique that I bought a couple of months ago. I think it's feeling good, but it's big for me, I feel. Get the hang of it. Bigger tires than mine. <laughs> so that was a blue trail. We might head back up oh, my hands. and take a look at some of the black trails. Oh, really? I think we will. You're ready. So, as we do our second climb of the day, do you want to tell everyone about your biggest frustration about a virus? Yeah, so, what we've discovered, because we're doing van life, is there's no bloody toilets anywhere. And I know I'm not the only person who said this because I saw an article in the Irish Times about someone who'd done the Wild Atlantic Way on the bike and they experienced the same thing. Well, there's this website called P.ie and with people's contributions, they've mapped public toilets all around Ireland. So that's been really handy, but there's been so few. And it's crazy, absolutely crazy, that in a place like here, 
Thick Mountain Biking Centre, which is frequented by bikers and walkers, runners, all sorts. There are no toilet facilities, especially for the ladies. Like, we need to find somewhere a little bit more sheltered, a little bit more private, and hopefully there's no prickly, thorny things poking you while you squat down to pee. So I think it's pretty appalling. You finished ranting now? Yeah. Ready for that now? We're roughly back up where we started and we've noticed this little top section with four short black runs going down so we're gonna aim for that looks like it's up this trail section there might be a bit of single track um, satellite run bacon and cabbage and Tokyo drift <laughs> bacon and cabbage sounds good it's a nice climb I think this might be one of the starts of the back. I think this might be nowhere easy exits or something. Might be a bit too spicy to start with. Looks really cool though, so one for the future maybe. Uh, maybe when we get some full face helmets. We're gonna hit up the top connector a little bit and probably go down. There's a blue one, which is the main quilter trail here. And then that goes on to two other blacks, I think. And if they're way too hard, then we'll just go following that blue trail. Second track in, we're gonna stick to the actual Quilta advertised trails and not stray from them for the moment. Um, gonna do the first official black that we've come across, the afterburner one, which should be a little bit easier than the couple ones that we've just seen. It's nice and long as well. Like, uh, we were just talking to two nice people there. They said there's one tricky section at the end going over routes or something. So we'll take a look at that when we get down. Malika's gonna go first. <laughs> okay, let's see if we make it up. Go on, you good thing. <laughs> no. I still nearly messed it up though. The start of this black is a little misleading, as you need to do a fair bit of climbing to get to the actual downhill section. That was the undulating section of the burner, so I think this section here is where it kind of goes more downhill. Severe throughout. Um, a little bit over-exaggerated, the descriptions of these trails. At the second sign, there's a drop, nice. after which the real fun starts. There's a sweet view of Dublin from here too. That was chunky. I think I need your tires. <laughs> That's cool. Nice one. Can't believe you sent me down a black blind. I didn't send you down. You were only meant to do the start of it, but you kept going. That was really good, though. Oh, there was nothing about it, though. But you still need to commit to it and go oh. in. We were curious to see what a quilted black would feel like, but it's a blue on trail forks, and again, we feel like the trail forks grain is more accurate. 
There's only one tricky rooty bit towards the end, and it has loads of line options. Uh, this might be the tricky section. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, it's just that there was roots there, so I don't know how they're going to behave when I you're going over. I think you should go into the channel there. No, I think you should try and... Wider. Yeah, I think probably go over this rock. Come down straight through the middle on the... I'm way too out of practice for this shit. Uh, confidence levels are low. It felt quite nice actually. Maybe not by a bit of the expression on my face. Really awkward to get out there. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, I did all of it except for that Rudy section, which is why there's only footage of Barry doing it. <laughs> Not today. Not today. But yeah, the rest of it was gone. After Werner joins onto the end of Blazing Saddles, where the track becomes more flowy again, it's similar to Skyline, and next time we'd like to ride it from the start. starting to clear up a little bit. We've been here for like three days, living in a van, peeing in buckets. Because <laughs> there's no public toilets. <laughs> Don't go anywhere without a fajita spice mix. After our second one, we decided it was time for tea and lunch. Lytle's finest rice. That's one of the great things about van life. You can have a hot cuppa whenever you want. How's your food? <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah. So we've come up to the, the top where, what's the name? Skyline goes down again. Yeah, one more climb, which means one more descent or two or three different descents. Um, so we're gonna go down a short section of Bone Shaker, which is a bit of a hiking trail. A bit of a, just hang on and let the bike do the work, I think. <laughs> Tired enough today, getting the hang of it again. So. trail on trail for us, but it's part of the local riders trail so we'll see what a blue actually looks like in terms of locals and not just the, the queer to tick knock ones. Alright let's give the start of Bone Sticker a go. <laughs> Wasn't so bad. The footage here might be a little bit grainy thanks to the low light in the forest. Shizzle is a spicy natural trail which is really fun. We had to navigate roots, rocks, mud, and puddles, and sometimes it was tricky to find the actual trail. No idea where I'm going. It was a nice change to ride a trail that wasn't manicured, though. Oh, this is gonna be wet. It's a bit wet.
Nice. Uh. And get my feet back on. <sighs> Ah. It's kind of cool. That's just a roller. Money line. Find the head. Ah, uh, awkward turn. You good? I think we're on the end of this now, maybe. So that was a blue trail, but a local trail. So it's a little bit spicier than the, the other blues. It's cold though. Yeah, it's cold. I'd do it again. It's nice and natural, but a lot of puddles. So had a lot of rain because we're in Ireland and it's been raining for the last two months. Um, pretty much ever since we've got here. I'm going to do a very short section of a black because I want to see what they're actually like. And the good thing about where we are is we can get back onto Skyline and then hopefully I'll meet Malika down at a point where they almost join again. High Line or something this one's called. I'm just going to do a short section. Sounds like bad. Woohoo! Man up and go to him. <laughs> Last one of the day, so I don't think it works out. So far, this is alright. Not much harder than the other one. It wasn't any harder, it was more narrow. An update of the plan is I came down that high line one it was actually not any harder than the shizzle uh, so we'll con I think I'll continue and Malik is going to follow me on this black one if there's anything we'll just stop bit of a black section Just keep the momentum up. This is the rock section. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. But... No, it's fine. <laughs> I got stuck on the roof. Oh, well, you got that on camera, anyway. <laughs> Hard to start now, though. Going over that rock. You good? Yeah. Nice. Just rolling. Ooh. Okay, we'll stop here. Highline is steep and narrow. The few drops we encountered were rollable, but it was definitely more techy with lots of rocks, roots, and line choice, plus plenty of surprises. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, that's 
just narrow. Ugh. Yeah. We're on a blue section now, supposedly. Oh, I did see another trail coming onto it. Okay, following onto this and then we'll get back onto Bone Shaker for a very, very short 50 meters or something. 20 meters and then back onto a fire road and we're kind of done. Uh, that is just the roll, but... Well... Yeah. It's actually a really nice one though. But I was thinking twice. Yeah, on it. No offense, but it looked hey. a bit intense. Oh, it doesn't look that bad here. Fucking hell. Old me would have gone down it, maybe. Old yeah, well, me that had the bloody... I'm barely going down the things as well, so come on, don't be... Stop being a bollocks. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. I don't like to do the screaming. <laughs> it's narrow though. Yeah. Uh, left hand line into. Oh. Nicely done. I thought that was a bit sketchy. That's good. Let's just start again. This next section doesn't seem to get a lot of traffic as it's overwhelmed by ferns. It's steep and narrow, but we found it super enjoyable with great views of the city. So we took a little bit of a, a wrong turn or failed to miss the turn that we were meant to take. So we're actually on a, another bit of a black section, the lower high line section. Um, but this was, this was really cool though. Like, look at all the ferny stuff. Um, nothing too technical on it. No, it was grand. It was just narrow, but it was really nice. Yeah, a few routes that could have sent us off, but didn't. Anyway, so this goes on to another connector, I think. Something onto the, the connector to the dream boat, or the dream something. <laughs> I'm going to have to put loads of tags on the video. Uh, and then that goes onto a fire and we're just going to get lost. It's done enough, we're just going to get lost. Look at that view though. Oh Jesus, it wasn't expecting that, I'm in the bushes. Actually, kind of a fun climb though. If I knew the lines, oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. Ah! Oh shit! I didn't get very far. Ah. Back at the car park again, back to our van. I think we're going to call it a day for that. Ready for a beer now. That last section was really cool, but one of the other little frustrating things about Ireland and mountain biking is the natural trails that are local only aren't advertised so it's really hard to find maybe that's for good reason and maybe we shouldn't even be making these videos so i'm pretty happy with my bike overall it is heavier than my old bike that i sold in new zealand um so the climbing was <laughs> i was slow but that just could, could be because i'm not fit anymore i've got 29 inch wheels on this bike compared to 27 and a half on my old bike so 
yeah, that was great. It just felt like they kind of um, just went down everything, and that really helped my confidence. I had to make sure that the bike is that I'm riding the trails, not the bike. But yeah, it definitely gave me a lot of confidence on the down. Yeah. Oh yeah, and check out my sweet brat Maori design um, to represent New Zealand and remind me of home. Just starting to drift. <laughs> Over and out.